Hey guys, it's time for another paint party. Today we're going to do a reverse dip. We've got a eight by eight inch stretch canvas. Bottom has been taped, stick pins inserted so that we're up off of the surface. I've checked that it's level using my iPhone app that uh, allows you to measure or level. Um, I've marked the boundaries on my surface where I found it to be zero so that I'll stay within that area. Um, we're going to use Artist Loft Blow Acrylic White as our base. We'll put that down real quick. Um, lots of times I um, don't turn the camera on until I've already done that, but I thought today I would show that since if you are a beginner, it is good to see all, you know, all elements of the process from the beginning, uh, including showing the taping and all, all that stuff. Um, I'm not going to go on into all, you know, how to tape it and everything. Uh, not unless somebody leaves me a comment requesting to do so. I think that most of us can figure that out on our own. Um, you do want to go ahead and uh, get your sides covered as well, not just the, the top. And using a, a big uh, spatula like I have here makes the process pretty easy and, and quick, so it's not, not that big a deal. Though I will have to admit that uh, you usually end up having to touch the sides up again. Um, after you're finished with uh, your your top. It's just part of it. Okay. Now I'm going to get this back, put, make sure I'm back in my marked area. Okay. Now the colors we're going to be using today are Amsterdam. Now I'm probably going to screw this name up. It's a uh, Quint Credone Rose Light. And we're going to be using Deco Art Extreme Sheen Pink Tourmaline Metallic. And uh, I'll show you the actual bottle. Deco Art Dazzling Metallics White Pearl. That is going to be our colors today. Today is the, um, the first time I'm going to be using any uh, Amsterdam paint. And I have to say, I can see why it's so popular just from mixing it. It was like a dream so easy so creamy didn't have to add any water nothing it was perfect okay now I need to get me a dessert cup okay I'm gonna put our little dessert cup right in the middle I like to stand up so that I have a good view of, of my canvas. It makes it easier to try and make it center. Okay. Looks pretty good. Okay. So I always start with my darkest shade first. So 
So here we go. Now you want to give it a minute, get all your paint to flow. And I usually help it along because there's a dip here in this cup by blowing in the center. And then have a look at the size of the petals and see, you know, which which area seems to to have more or less and put some in the area where you see less before you move on to the next color. That pink tourmaline color is pretty, isn't it? I like it. This is my first time using this that shade. Okay, now we want to follow with our Deco Art White Pearl. Once you start putting other colors down, I don't recommend using the stick to get extra paint out of this dip uh, because it will cause the different colors to mix. So blowing is, the, is my remedy for that. Still need a little bit more right here. Okay, now the, I'm just going to call it um, Queen, uh, Quinn Rose or something. That long name is a little much for me. I don't know. <laughs> Let's, or just Rose, Rose Light. Might be a little bit even too light for this. It's no, we'll see how it looks when we're done. Okay, and more of the white pearl. Some more of the pink tourmaline.
looks to be much farther over on this side. I'm gonna try turning our canvas. And one more layer of the white pearl. Okay, now I'm going to pick up the little cup and turn it so that the paint will flow in between and do another layer of colors. And last bit of paint. Okay. Time to lift the little cup, set it to the side, let our paint settle, because it's going to move more into the center, because that cup has been moved. Now to, um, Add any embellishments that we may want to do.
here's like um, well, one thing that I can tell that may be a factor in this is um, my white pearl paint uh, is thinner than my other paints. I can tell that. But I have uh, this in this bottle was mixed at uh, a whole bottle worth at a time and it um, I've had it for a while and I can I can just tell though that it is uh, quite a bit thinner than the other two paints so I don't know how that's going to affect our final results but we're gonna we're getting ready to see because I'm going to wet this napkin and do the fun part Though this is really, really pretty the way it is, isn't it? <laughs> it's real tempting almost to um, leave it like that. But if we do that, we're not gonna have the cool effects that the, the reverse dip is going to give us. So you gotta hope for the best. always fold my napkin in half before I put it on the canvas. Try and get it as straight and wrinkle free as possible. Okay, now you're going to lay the napkin over just half of your your canvas. No need to be in a hurry. You want to take your time doing this. And then gently pat to make sure your napkin is touching the entire design. See a hair on my, it's got to go. Okay. Now you take alternating sides of your napkin and slowly pull it up toward the middle. Same thing with the other two sides. Slowly pull it into the middle. Then you want to get these little pocket areas Pull that up to your middle. This one kind of collapsed on me here. Okay. Grab hold in the center as best you can and slowly pull up. Okay. Now we're gonna give it a minute to see what, let the paint settle, see what it's gonna do. If we don't like it, We'll scrape it and start over. But you don't want to make that determination as soon as you pull that napkin off because as you can see, um, your design is, is developing, it's changing. 
as you look at it. It's not, not staying the same. Typically, while that's happening to keep me from freaking out and doing something to it too soon, I usually start uh, fixing the background area because that usually has lost paint in areas that you, you're gonna wanna fix. It's gonna have to be fixed anyway, so this is a good time to do it while you're seeing what your design is, you know, you're giving it time to do what it's gonna do. Okay, um, yeah, I think it's pretty much done what it's gonna do. Uh, enough to where a choice can be made at this point on whether you're going to scrape it or stick with what you got. Um, I'm liking, you know, the outside looks fine but the middle part, I'm not seeing any real definition of the petals that should be in the, the center. Um, therefore, I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna keep this design. This isn't um, up to standard, in my opinion. Um, you could, you know, take something and, you know, try to do, you know, create some definition in the middle of it. Um, but I still don't think that it would be how I would want. Um, it does seem to be still developing. Now that I'm looking at it, I can still see some some changes going on. So I'm not gonna rush to this too much. Um, I think that as I had, you know, as I mentioned that the uh, pearl white paint is thinner than, than the other paints. And I think that's, um, that's having an effect on our result. It's pretty, I mean, it, but it's not, it's not what I'm looking for. It's, it's not, it's, there's just not enough definition to it, in, in my opinion. Um, I'm going to um, turn the camera off and uh, pour some of this Deco Art white pearl into a, a smaller cup and um, thicken it. So hopefully that will help and we're gonna redo this. Um, so I will be back in a few uh, with some thicker white pearl paint. Oh, 
Okay, I'm back. As you can see, I've put down another base coat and we're ready to get started with some thicker white pearl paint this time. Okay. Let's get our little cup here in the middle. Okay, let's try this again. You already know what colors I'm using, so we're not we're not going to go through all that again. Just get started with the process. Great. Didn't need that. We took care of that. Okay. Uh, oh. Well, I did a little better with it, getting it more even this time. I'm not going to worry about that. Well, I can get that easy enough. Okay. Now our Quint Rose. Okay, more white pearl.
isn't it so satisfying to watch that paint just flow and make such a pretty design? Although my level said that it was level here, it's obviously not completely level. I wouldn't have to keep switching, uh, turning my canvas. But unfortunately, um, I'm quite limited to my workspace. Hopefully that'll change one day, but until then, I gotta work with what I got. Okay, now let's turn our little cup. I'll do one layer of colors.
Okay. Last bit of paint. Okay, now for the big reveal here in a minute. Spray down my napkin. See how this goes. Hold our breath. Hope for the best. I'm barely touching this. Okay. I'm going to take our corners. Get her a little 
some flaps here, which can be challenging. last flap always seems to be hard okay in the middle pull up slowly okay let's give it a minute and see what it's gonna do Well, it looks like uh, we we got a little more definition than in the middle than last time. It's still still not really what I was wanting, though. To be honest, still not doing what I want it to do. See if I can get it to move over this way a little bit. This side here is far from equal to that other side there. You just never know. When you do the napkin part, you just never know what's going to come out of it. Now that's looking a little better. As far as the middle part is uh, looking a little better. As far as being equal, 
this side is much more than this. Um, I may start, might try to keep working with it. If I had my spin table out, I might spin it. I've seen others do that. Um, I guess I could get it out and try that. I don't, I don't know if I want to bother with that or not. Well, I think I will go ahead and do that. I'm gonna put you all on pause again and I'm gonna drag out my spin table because otherwise um, I'm probably gonna, uh, I'm not gonna keep this uh, the way that this turned out. It looks, I mean, it looks okay, but I mean, this is, This middle part is just not doing it for me at all. And the fact that it's so uneven. So I'm gonna put you all on pause. Okay, let's give it a shot. I've got the little stick pins on it, so I can't exactly take those out while, I, while the canvas is wet. shoot. Well, is it helping it, you guys? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> helping it by me flinging it off of it, I guess. Alright. Well, it's not exactly looking like a flower anymore at all. Um, so, in my opinion, this looks worse than the last one did. Um, 
now that we've done all that to it. Um, what will I what will I do with it? I'm going to scrape it. Uh, but I'm not going to um, include you guys in uh, the continued work on this piece. Um, it's just, uh, I hope that even though this turned out to be a fail, that um, you gain something from watching this, um, that uh, it will help you to realize that you know, every attempt is not going to turn out the way you want it. Um, some people probably would have been okay with the first one that I did. But um, it's you're making a creation that's based on uh, something you've got in mind, what you are wanting to accomplish. And if it's not suiting your fancy, then that's what you need to you know, keep in mind, you're not doing the, the art for anyone else but yourself. Uh, it has to meet the standards that you have put forth. Um, and this one doesn't meet my standards, so I will keep trying. But thank you for watching. Um, I will be creating another video soon. Hopefully it won't be a fail. <laughs> but um, I hope everybody's having a good day. And... Uh, please uh, like, comment, share, provide me any feedback that you may have that might have, that you think would have helped with this, um, this piece. Um, subscribe to continue seeing more of my videos and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, I did a third trial of um, the reverse, reverse dip and this is um, and I did that off camera of course and this is my final results um, it's still not completely what I'm wanting but it's a lot closer than my previous attempts and, you know, I'm pretty satisfied with this. Um, it will be pretty once it's dried and um, varnished and everything. And I, um, I think as artists, we are often uh, hardest on ourselves. Uh, so I'm trying to... Um, appreciate the beauty of this piece even though it isn't perfect uh, compared to you know if I'm going to compare myself to others um, this this piece is lovely and I'm happy with it um, I hope that you also think that it's nice and um, I will, you know, keep working on this technique. Uh, what I did differently this time is I did um, thicken um, both the pink tourmaline and the Quinn Rose Light, both paints. I thickened them a little bit more. And um, I didn't uh, wet my napkin quite as much before uh, putting it on my canvas. Um, and I'll remember to do that next time because it was much easier to uh, manipulate that time. But let me get up close to show you. It did you know, create a lot of good lacing, as you see. So I'm real happy with that. Nice, uh, you can see that nice uh, glitter, glitter all through it, the metallic. So it did, it did do well as far as that goes. I'm just wanting to get more defined petals is, is what I'm striving for. And 
Um, hopefully I can get better at that, but this piece did turn out pretty well. So um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.